Raghu, you gave an interview recently at, or there was a, a thing at the at Harvard Kennedy School where you made this statement which I thought was very fascinating where you said that by any criteria except comparison to China, India is a very impressive story. But if you compare it, which you can't really compare it with China because China is five times larger. But take China out of the equation, India looks great. You can just elaborate on that a bit. Um, look, uh, I mean, this is where we get to big numbers and of course big numbers conceal a lot. But if you look at India's growth over the last 25 years, it's averaged 7%. Uh, now, 7% over 25 years would be something which, you know, in the 60s, the only sort of example you could think of of a big country having achieved that or in the process of achieving that was Japan. Uh, of course, in the 70s and the 80s, we got the Asian Tigers achieving that, but they're not that big. Uh, the only country of India's size that has achieved that is, of course, China, and which has grown much faster. So, before we sort of start uh, criticizing um, our lack of achievement, let us first recognize that this is a singular achievement by any uh, historical standard. Of course, then we have to be self-critical. Why haven't we done as well as, as we could have? Uh, why is China so far ahead? Because we started at about the same place in the early 60s. Now, when people look at the China-India comparison, they forget a, uh, a couple of things. First, China started in 78, really, opening up. Effectively, we had our license permit raj till 1990, and then we started opening up as a result of the crisis. So we're 12 years behind China. That's approximately two and a half times GDP, right? A at decent growth rates of seven to eight percent. But the other thing we forget is uh, China actually started out with a much better educated population. And that's something that, that communism does very well. And that's, I think, the, uh, you know, where India has, has sort of lagged behind is that we haven't had the kind of universal education of reasonable quality. Uh, we have better, uh, at least on a, uh, on a sort of like-for-like -like comparison, we probably had better colleges than China in the early 80s. But they had better schools, or they, they afforded people. And that matters, because if you look at uh, individual entrepreneurship, the town and village enterprises, that kind of entrepreneurship comes from high school grads saying, I'm gonna you know, get my hands dirty and build things. 